Hi there, welcome to video diary number two. Now, I've been working very hard for the last, uh, well, out of the last 10 days, I've probably been working seven or eight of them because I had to see my family at one point. We also did a DJ set last night. Uh, so I've been working hard and I've finished one song. So although I'm technically slightly behind, that's okay because I've actually got uh, two more songs half recorded, which is great. They're both sounding really nice. And I've got ideas for more as well. I've also come up with an idea of what the album is going to be called. And while I'm not quite ready to divulge that yet, suffice to say that um, it's a really cool concept. And it gives me a way to start the album, definitely a way to end it. And if I run out of ideas for songs, it's definitely got more that I can put in the middle. So I think there's actually going to be a little bit more of a narrative running through this album. Not necessarily a concept album, but it's definitely going to top and tail it nicely. So yeah, I'm excited about that. It's really cool. Um, the thing that I've been finding hardest of all is getting the skeleton down, uh, by which I mean the skeleton of each track. So I usually start a metronome going and then I'll play the guitar, just the guitar through um, so that I can get an idea of the structure of the song. And once the guitar's down, then I can do the drums. And the drums are the hardest part because, as I said in my previous video, I'm recording as if it's an acoustic kit. I'm using left and right line outs from my amazing Roland V drums kit and uh, playing it live, basically, and recording it as if it's a live situation. Of course, I can redo certain sections of the song, but uh, I'm not editing it afterwards with you know MIDI tweaks, not quantizing it. So I've got to play it really in time. And because I'm not a drummer by trade, that is a challenge for me. And I found that quite hard work. Um, but even so, uh, once I've got this um, sort of bare bones guitar part down, uh, then I was going through and speaking over it as a literal guide saying what's coming up next. So what I should do on the drums. So what I'm going to do is to set up a new audio track, but I'm going to go to new tracks because what with my... Um, Behringer over here with the four inputs. Uh, the mic, the Apogee mic that I'm using here, uh, you follow that down, is also going in. And for some reason, you can't have the two things at once. So even though I'm using this USB for the interface, and that's uh, got the headphones out of it, so that's how I can listen to everything, the input needs to be from the microphone. There we go. So now it's picking up my voice. You can see that that's come alive. And what I need to do now is to just go through with the guitar track that I've done to the metronome click and just describe what I'm hearing. And then when I move that backwards, then I'll be able to know what's coming up with the drums and which fills and stuff I need to play, what kind of beats I need to play. So let's do that. Here we go. This is the bridge. Into the heavy beat. Besides that, I've been writing lyrics by taking my green notebook, my Zelda book and the monkey pen out to a cafe in town and uh, sitting, having a coffee and taking my time and putting in headphones and listening to the track as I come up with words to go in it and then coming back and recording them. And that worked really well. So I'm very pleased with that. So I think the problem that I've had so far uh, is probably the drum sounds and trying to get them to sound right. For instance, the track I've been doing at the moment sounds amazing with the rock drum kit, but the uh, hi-hat is just too loud. So I'm actually going to have to go back and redo it, um, either turning down the hi-hat, which I think I probably could or should do, or just using the bell of the ride, which I think might also work because it might make it sound different anyway. So lots of questions like that. Uh, I've also been trying to relax. I found a patch of sunshine on this very sofa the other day because <laughs> mm. the sun was on it. So uh, yeah, I had a little relax there. Now, the other thing that I found might be problematic with the songs that I've written so far is that I'm trying to cram in lots of good ideas. I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't have filler in your album. But at the moment, it's possible that what I've recorded has actually got too many ideas in it. And therefore, what I think is one song actually sounds like two or even three songs. So you could take it apart and make songs out of each of them. And I don't want to dilute the ideas, but I do want it to flow nicely. Uh, at the moment, the first song that I recorded definitely has um, a different feel to the verses. It's almost reggae, um, 
and then the the choruses are definitely rock. So although I could split them up, I actually like the variety. I always think of the Wild Hearts and how the Wild Hearts, if you're familiar with them, uh, would have different tempos, different sections of each song. So each song would have a lot going in or a lot going on. And uh, well, that's obviously a problem when you've got different tempos because the metronome for recording the guide tracks doesn't fit. And if you change it and then try and record, I find that it doesn't count in on Logic Pro in in the actual tempo of the section that you're about to record. It's still tapping in with the previous one. So some of it I've had to do it by ear rather than to a metronome. So I'm going to go and edit this now and upload it and then I'll see you again in a few days time. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, take a look around my channel and I'll see you again soon. Watch this space. Cheers.